Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have something so exciting, so exciting to open right now. This, you would never guess what this is, never in a million years. This is a prototype, okay, a prototype in miniature of my Small World doll. So I sent the head and the dress that I won in the Small World or in the Disney in the Joel McGee auction. And if you haven't seen those videos, um, you can just scroll back a few videos. They're there. I mailed the head and the dress to Sandy Anderson of Anderson Art Dolls. They said, she and her husband said they could make a body for me and I just shipped them everything. They scanned everything in. They started modeling a body and I am so excited. They sent a prototype. They printed a little prototype in resin um, for me to look at just to check it over to see if there's anything else I want to change. So let's see what this says. Hi Allison, happy holidays. Here's the prototype. Your doll completed will be 32 inches tall. We did the body measurement solely based on the dress because remember the dress is from one of the actual animatronics. We scanned the head, flipped it to be symmetrical. One side was in better shape and then color matched. There's a special neck joint for switching out and putting on your small world head. Obviously we had to make you a head too, but want you to be able to switch it out if you want. We can make your doll lighter, darker, however you want. We can print as many as you want in any color. We can change any body parts. Just don't want to change the size as it's custom to the gown. I can't tell you how cool it is that you have a piece of magical history. So take a look. Let me know what you think when we start printing your big baby. I'll video loads for you. Thank you for letting us take this journey with you, Sandy and Terry. Thank you guys for doing this because... Oh my gosh, like, oh my goodness. So here we're gonna open the baby up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So this has been color matched to the head that I won. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. So this is, so they modeled the torso and everything. Oh my gosh. Wow. They modeled the torso to fit the dress exactly. So since we had a dress, like they could actually do that. And then they made, they did put a knee joint. They asked me, did I want a knee joint? And at first I said no. And then I was like, well, it might be more practical. And the reason I said no is because there is... Um, not one on the actual ones, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know, it might be more practical to have one. We've got straight arms because the dolls at, on the ride don't have movable arms. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is just incredible. I think I can actually give a face up to this because the painting on the Small World dolls is pretty it's pretty simple. I'm going to put a little pair of eyes in. Um, I've got my eye thing here just to just to get bring it to life, you know, to bring the little guy or girl to life here. Um, and I've got some uh, silicone earplugs to put in. Oh my goodness. So I want to try to do brown eyes if I have any left. I don't know if I do actually have any brown eyes in here right now um these but they're way too big let's see oh this is let's see if this will work if this is too big um yes that's what so actually the way the eye holes are it's gonna have to be a flat eye she much i think she told me that actually so you can see there like oh the camera's not focusing the way that they've because that's the way the eye holes are in the actual head. Because this is this is a scan of the actual head. And there's the peg that she was talking about for changing the head out. Oh my goodness. Wow. That technology, y'all, is amazing. <laughs> like, it's so amazing. Is this flat enough and small enough to fit in there? Let's see. Mm, not really. Let me see if I have. I may not. I may not have anything that's going to work for this right now, because everything might be like this standard size. I might need something a little bit smaller. 
that's definitely not gonna work see these are real those are too small though that's not gonna work either what about this this is a nice eyeball oh this came from a lily cat doll i'm just testing now to see what will go down in that eye well oh my goodness oh my goodness that one actually comes closer but not quite let's see what do I have what do I have I need some of those I had some eyes that were really flexible but I think I must have gotten rid of those at some point in time hmm I may not have any I may have to get something in a different because I think this is all these are all the same like I need a really this is kind of small it's just just for funsies that it might fall out the is that gonna fall out the front side let's try oh there we go okay so I've got all right let me this is what's gonna have to work for now so let me put one of these in I don't even know that's like a like a light light like a tan color ah Oh my goodness oh my goodness look coming to life oh my gosh I cannot even believe this I cannot believe it I'm y'all you have no idea like how grateful I am that they took on this project and like the job that they the, the like level of atten the attention detail and I've been getting videos all along about like the process like the attention to detail the level of like just like they they are really enthusiastic about the project which when you have somebody enthusiastic about a project that's really important to you that's so good because you know it's gonna be it's gonna come out really nicely I'm having a hard time with this let's see if I can get this on and you know what I would like to cut all the rambling out of this but last time I cut my rambling out somebody said we like to you to hear you ramble so um I don't know maybe I'll leave it in well I guess we'll see when I start editing won't we all right why am I not what am I doing wrong here there we go the problem I'm, this putty that I got this time is like a little stickier and it wants to stick to my fingers all right there's one eye let me see if i can get it would it, this is one of those cases where it might be better to have white putty because i've got a little bit of space there and it's just because the eye is slightly smaller now i gotta see if i can find the other one of those eyes though because i don't know even where that eye came from who it belongs to there maybe that there we go found it Oh, I bet this came with a Nikki Brett doll. It's about that size. So let's see. I'm going to do a little bit more of this. And put this one in. <gasps> Look, all right. Get out of my scene here. I gotta get all this stuff out of out of scene so that it'll actually like focus look at my baby look his eyes a little crooked let me kind of move it oh my gosh oh I'm so excited oh my gosh yeah I think I can do like a little easy brow and just a little bit of blushing here to bring to life I'm back look at my little baby oh my gosh I cannot believe this she is so so cute i'm gonna do like little eyebrows and a little i broke my nail in the process of doing this um i'm gonna give her a little face up myself she is so precious and i just like i'm so pumped about this project like this is amazing this is like i never expected to get a small world body of this quality like i'm just blown away with what they have done and 
um, everything. I may ask them to put a joint in the elbow because the more I think about it, that might be better. It's not authentic to the ride, but it might be better just for display purposes and make it easier to dress. I don't know. I don't think about that. But oh my gosh, look. I am so excited. I had to steal a wig from somebody else. But look how cute. Ah, okay, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I am super pumped and thrilled about this. Ah, thank you so much, Sandy and Terry. I am over the moon the cat is jumping up into the light box so that's why you're the shaking but guys thanks so much for watching stay tuned because this project will eventually be finished and i mean this little project right here is just so cool by itself like isn't this amazing so anyway guys we will see you in the next video bye bye I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knitnacks, Marty G, Lynn, Lynn P, and Cindy L. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you.